What is up and welcome back today guys. Today we'll be doing more modifications on my overlanding and off-roading Subaru. Today we're doing something that I've been wanting to do ever since we started modifying this. I just haven't had the time or the plan to do it, but we're going to be putting on a snorkel on my Subaru Forester. Of course, this is not a Subaru Forester snorkel. It is um, a different snorkel that we kind of have to modify, but it actually fits on pretty nicely. So we're going to be walking you through how we're going to mount this on my Subaru Forester. So let's get started. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta see what we're working with. As you guys know, this is 2004, so most importantly, it's got a map and not a MAF. So we can play with the intake as much as we want and it's not gonna completely freak out like it does with MAF. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our stock intake and airbox, remove the fender liner so we can see where it lines up and then go from there. Also, as you probably expected, Austin, the other side of flat four is here helping me out today. So we're gonna get this going. So we're gonna remove everything and then show you kind of our plan from there. And just like that, the air box is out and we see how much room there is now. And also, this is so surprising. It's a Subaru and you can actually reach the spark plugs. I thought that never happens. Anyway, so the air box is out and you can see how much room we have now. Um, so we started taking the template here and just laying it out. Obviously, as I said, the snorkel is not for this car, so we gotta do some moving around, but we eventually found a position where it lines up along the ridge of our fender and then just um, kind of reaches the pillar. We go are gonna have to heat, heat it up and melt it a bit to get it to fit perfectly, but that's kind of where we're sitting. And then if we look, I've obviously pulled out the fender liner because, well, there's not much holding it on anymore. Um, so it was easy and then just pulled that out so we could reach under the fender and put in our holes for our mounting positions. These two are going to be a little bit of a pain, but we can figure it out. And then obviously, because this is right here, we're actually lined up almost perfectly for this hole here. We just got to figure out how to move it around here and line it up with our intake over here. This is definitely one of the things you want to measure a few times and then cut it because obviously you're cutting into a fender and you gotta check like alignment between the hole that's going into the engine bay, the top of the fender, the door, and everything else that's going on. So you definitely need to check and that is what we did. So we are good now to go put holes in my Subaru Forester. So what we're doing is we're just taking a hole saw. Um, it says 80 mil, we're just a little bit under that I believe and we're just gonna drill through the fender and start lining stuff up. Um, and then we've got obviously the bolt holes which we'll do after, but so far, so good. So let's put some holes in the Forester. Starting with where the snorkel would go through the fender, we first punched it before drilling our pilot hole with a small bit. After that was done, it was time to tape up the fender to protect the paint and start drilling with the hole saw. Once we had our main hole done, it was time to start drilling the rest of the mounting holes. Again, starting with a punch, we marked our location before drilling the pilot holes and hitting it with a couple bigger bits to make sure it would mount on there. And now that we've got the holes officially drilled on the side of the Forester, we just put a little bit of paint protection on them um, to make sure they don't rust because it will rust if you don't put a little bit of paint on it. Um, and now it's time to pretty much go mount up the base of the snorkel so that we can go ahead, then hit it with the heat gun and kind of flex it to our liking. Um, we'll also have to flex it a little bit to the con curve of the actual fender because it kind of like curves inwards or curves outwards, I guess, as you go down the car where the snorkel is pretty much flat. So yeah, it's time to go throw it on. Let's, so let's go do that. There we go, check that out. The Forster officially has part of a snorkel on it. It actually fits really well. It's because, well, we measured like 20 times, but it lines up really well with the top of the fender. Um, obviously, as I said, it does have a little bit of a kind of like, it doesn't match the body lines too much. So what we're gonna do is heat up this front part and heat up this back part. But first, we're gonna actually just bolt down the center. Um, and that way we have one part that's solid mounted. And then we can go ahead, heat up this, push this in, bolt it up. And then we will heat up this part, pull this in, and then heat up this and bend this to the um, line of the a pillar, so it all kind of lines up pretty perfectly. There, now you can probably get a nut on there. Good. And with the front now mounted flush on the car, it's time to go ahead and work our way back 
to the A pillar. So we're gonna have to would heat up this section right here and then just kind of bend this back and then we're just gonna be using some um, 3M like VHB tape to just hold it on to this last little section. But yeah, we just gotta bend it about that much, so not too, too much, just so it lines up with our A pillar here. And then we have a snorkel on our Subaru Forester. Slowly heating it up, we applied force till we got the snorkel where we wanted. Then we hit it with a little bit more heat before pulling it past our desired bend in hopes for it to return to the normal spot after it cooled. Now that we heated it up, it's pretty much running up the A pillar. Um, it is tied down right now just because we want it to cool and not lose kind of where we put it. If it still is not the shape we want, we can always hit it again with the heat gun and just kind of tighten that up. But right now it looks like it's almost made for the Subaru Forester, which is awesome. And then as you can see, it lines up here pretty well. And then right here, we just had to tighten it down and kind of pulled that in, which is totally fine. So now we got to work inside the engine bay. So we got to somehow get this over there. So what we're thinking is using a mixture of Subaru stuff, um, a piece of a Jeep, and a piece of my diesel heater to all wire it up. This is gonna actually be the first iteration of this because I have some upgrades I wanna do to the snorkel system a little bit later, but we're not gonna worry about that right now, obviously, because the parts aren't here, but also just because we wanna kinda of get this um, ready and to go. So, as I said, using some of the existing Subaru parts, these don't seal very well, so we are gonna to have to fix that. So we're gonna be using good old RTV. So we're just gonna be sealing up as much as we can. So that includes the, like, where everything connects. Um, includes this little part right here, and then the hole right here. Um, and then once that's done, we're pretty much got our snowball system on. So let's get it plumbed up. And we didn't even need the Jeep piece. All we used was this um, stock Subaru piece. We just cut off the end on the bottom, like the thing that hangs down, because it um, has a hole in it. Plugged it with the cap from it and then just ran some three inch like flexible tubing there. Um, just made like a kind of a spacer for the two to two and a half inch to three inch and then just ran that three inch all the way out to the snorkel. So we only have one more piece left and it's the top of the snorkel. So let's go ahead and put it on. And there we go. We officially have the snorkel on the Forcer. We just took a little bit of 3M tape on like this one little lip because it doesn't like wrap around the A pillar because the well the fender doesn't work as um, it should because obviously this isn't for Super Forcer. But that being said, it looks really good on the car. Like I'm actually surprised on how well it came out. Obviously my fender is pretty dented up um, and stuff, but this was a perfect candidate for it to try it out because well it was all dented up. So yeah, there we go. We got our full snorkel on it. We just have one last question to see if we can hear the intake with the snorkel on it. So we're gonna fire it up and see if we do. Okay, give it a go. Oh yeah, it's got a little like woo, woo. <laughs> You can hear it, just a little though. Yeah. And well, there we go. We have finally put a snorkel on my Forester. I think I've had it on that list over there for probably two years now. So we're making progress on the Forester. I have actually a few or actually I'm gonna say a lot more upgrades coming soon with the Forester, including some new lights and stuff. So make sure you're following along if you're not. So that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys are following along and putting a snorkel on your Forester, let me know how that went. Um, and if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of working on the Forester. Anyways, until next time, peace out and stay humble.